Okay, here we are using SketchUp. Let's make a stucco wall with buttresses. So let's start with our rectangle tool. Start the user origin. Yellow dot next to the slacker dude. Okay, and let's make the buttress first. And let's just make a typical um, 16. Now if I type in 16 by itself, it will be inches. I can also type in 16 double quote. 16 by 16. Okay, now let's raise that up using the push-pull tool. Move it over the surface and notice how it changes texture. Left click once, drag in a vertical direction along the blue axis in this case. And I'm gonna type in six feet, enter. Okay. So now let's draw the wall. Oh, let's, let's cant that edge, meaning um, let's angle it. So let's use the move tool and then click on this edge and I can click on the cyan or the red dot. The cyan is the midpoint of that line. And I'm just going to move that out in this direction. And I'm going to type in 8 for 8 inches. There we go. It looks like we're beginning to enclose the slacker dude in carbonite. Okay, so let's draw the stucco wall itself. You know, yeah, what I'm doing now using the orbit tool, remember a left click and hold in any direction. Okay, rectangle, I'm going to type in 8 inches by 8 inches. There we go. Use the push pull tool and notice how it changes in texture. Left click once and drag. I'm going to type in 5 feet. Great. Now, a typical stucco wall has a curved top, right? So let's use this tool here. And I just left click there and there because the green dot is endpoint, remember? And I'm just dragging in this direction. And I'm going to type in four for four inches. Now I can extrude this surface to here. I'm waiting for the green endpoint to appear. Left click once. Great. So now I have two different uh, shapes, as you can see by the push pull tools trying to select, making different textures. So now I'm going to go in the arrow tool, select this line, hit delete. And now when I go to the push pull tool, it selects it as one surface, one shape. I'm going to click once and drag in this direction and then type in 40 feet. Enter. And let's see what we did. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So we can use that same technique to round these edges to make them look more like stucco.